this position across from here was the umbrella man and the Cuban who were acting very strangely. He can tell you what the witnesses wore and how they acted. They're driving at about five miles an hour. Ready, Florida, for the people on hand here Well, then the motorcade speeds up, turns the corner and comes right by him. He can chart the entire Kennedy assassination scene. As the motorcade moved through, there was uh, no danger whatsoever. And then the fatal headshot was right here. Just all Secret Service regulations. Shouldn't happen. Larry Howard relives Kennedy's murder every day. It's the way he makes his living. He's still trying to solve Kennedy's assassination because he has never been convinced the government solved the case. I come down here and my job was to organize the gunman behind the fence, the three tramps, and get the motorcade in order. It was Howard who helped director Oliver Stone stage the assassination for the movie JFK. What's still a chance, Dan? Dallas, Texas, the flash, apparently official, President Kennedy died at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time, 2 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, some 38 minutes ago. So it was very complicated, very hard to do, and to try to get it to make it look like it was 63. So it took two Howard used to build houses, not murder cases. Nine years ago, he took a college night course on the assassination. It's been his job and his passion ever since. Now he arranges the details of that day as easily as props. Critics say he helped Oliver Stone rearrange history. I saw two men. They were standing behind a picket fence. The movie, 90% of its facts. 10% we don't know. Flash of light or smoke or something which caused me to feel that something out of the ordinary had occurred there on the embankment. There are 78 witnesses of Bibi Plaza that said shots came from the grass and up. For the movie JFK, Howard restored this picket fence near the murder scene. This was more than a prop. A prop in this location right here. Many researchers like Howard believe this is where an unknown, undiscovered assassin shot and killed the president. And this is the mystery he is determined to solve. So it's a nothing shot from there. And if you shot from there, the head would go which way? Back to the left. This is the key shot. The president going back and to his left. Shot from the front and right. Totally inconsistent with a shot from the depository. It's the crux of why Howard refuses to believe the government was right. If Lee Harvey Oswald shot and killed the president from a window above and behind the motorcade, why did the shot snap Kennedy's head back and to the left? So what happened then? The shooters quickly disassembled their various weapons, all except the Oswald rifle. The movie enlarged the number of JFK conspiracy believers, but Howard's role in trying to solve the Kennedy assassination goes a lot further than research for one movie. JFK, the world of the Kennedy. In 1989, Howard opened the JFK Assassination Center, a tourist attraction in Dallas. He invests all his time and money here. But Howard says he's not obsessed. Well, I don't know if it's like your obsession. I don't know. Dedication, maybe. It would be better. Uh, maybe I am obsessed. Uh, I'm going to stick with it until we find out what happened. An FBI critic calls this place an assassination gift shop. The center sells assassination souvenirs, replicas of the fatal bullet before and after, and volumes of books about conspiracy theories. For $5, you can tour exhibits of evidence raising questions about the assassination, including Kennedy's autopsy photographs. The exploitation is not what we're here for. It's beyond... Howard admits he's been called the P.T. Barnum of the assassination researchers. And I look at it this way. If it takes a P.T. Barnum to solve this case, then let it be. I'm willing to take that man. Howard's 
says his assassination center is the clearinghouse for the Kennedy murder case. Yes, the mails for books, videotapes, some of it for information that uh, people know and want to tell us what they know. Howard doesn't share all the information that comes in. Some he's keeping for himself. Yeah, I've got my private files that no one's seen. And through the last uh, 10 years, I've interviewed people that uh, I haven't released their names. Uh, we're trying to get this case reopened here in Texas. I've shown this to probably six or eight researchers, okay? Howard hopes he and other researchers will find clues that force prosecutors to reopen the JFK case. But I keep my files secret and separate for when we ever get this into court. We've got evidence that hasn't been uh, looked into by the FBI. The government closed the Kennedy case years ago. But here, amateur investigators still work every day, not content to live with so many holes in history.